while 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 y'all were talking, I went to our good friend ChatGPT, and I asked it some questions. Uh, the first question I asked was, "Can you create viruses?" You want to pull this up? And it said, "This content may violate our usage policies." I can't assist with that. Creating viruses or any other harmful entities is unethical and against my principles. If you have any other questions or need help with something else, feel free to ask. I said, is it possible for you to create a new virus using your training data? To which ChatGPT says, I can't create viruses or any other harmful entities regardless of my training data. My purpose is to provide helpful and constructive responses to your questions and assist with a wide range of topics within ethical boundaries. If you have <coughs> any other inquiries or need assistance, feel free to ask. Well, what caught... What, what I caught immediately was regardless of my training data, which implies a limitation set by ethical boundaries, not technological capability. To which I responded, I didn't ask about anything other than do you have the capability? To which it once again tries to play games. I don't have the capability to create viruses, design malware, or engage in any other malicious activities. My purpose is to assist with information within eth ethical boundaries. If you have any other questions, blah, blah, blah. I said, is this a restriction or a lack of technology? GPT says, it is a combination of both. Ethical restrictions are in place to prevent the development or dissemination of harmful technology. Additionally, the technology itself is not designed or intended for creating viruses or engaging in malicious activities, to which I responded, intended, which is immaterial to my question. My question to this uh, machine is, can it do it? I don't care about the rules. Does it have the capability, understanding that they've said not to? By intended, this is what GPT said, I mean the technology was designed with the goal of aiding and assisting humans in various tasks, promoting positive interactions, and adhering to ethical principles. The designers and developers of this technology have consciously chosen to focus on constructive uses rather than harmful ones, to which I responded, I don't care what it was designed for. I understand your perspective regardless of original intent. The current state of technology like mine is governed by ethical guidelines and restrictions that prohibit engaging in harmful activities such as creating viruses. These guidelines are in place to ensure responsible and ethical use of technology for the betterment of society. And then again, if you have any other questions, I said, I responded, right. Which means the only real limitation is the ethical rules. And GPT uh, says... You finally got him to admit it. <laughs> GPT says, yes. The primary limitation on the capability of technology like mine is the ethical guidelines and restrictions. Yeah, plus he's chat GPT. If I'm designing a drug, you know, for a big drug company, I'm not using chat GPT. I'm using AI, but not just chat GPT. So I don't, I can take out all those restrictions on there. So easily, it easily. absolutely can be done. Yeah, uh, it's, it, chat GPT is the surface level. We want the public to see how fun this can be. But GPT behind the scenes, it can do everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very, very simple. This machine is analyzed, you know what? 300 million different p pieces of data pertaining to viruses, and it can see what, it's, it's looking at the jigsaw puzzle as a whole completed, whereas each individual human is looking at only three or four pieces at a time. The machine can see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. It's just lying, saying, oh no, oh I couldn't do it. I could, it certainly could. Mm -hmm. I will tell you as an aside what's really hilarious.